Today on The Girl Defined Show, we are so excited to have Paul and Morgan from The Paul and Morgan Show with us and from 24 Hours With. We are going to put them on the hot seat. So if you know Paul and Morgan, we are going to get behind the scenes and ask them about their marriage, about like how in the world do you run a ministry, an online YouTube channel and make a living out of it? Or like, are there fights? Are there like, do you really love doing this? Or did you just happen to be here? Like, what does it look like to be a ministry couple? So if you're single and you're like, hmm, I'd like to be a ministry one day, this might really encourage that. Or you might run in a different direction. <laughs> and if you're married and just wondering like, okay, do other couples ever have conflict or do they just live in perfect harmony? Like we're going to find out. So let's jump in and chat with Paul and Morgan. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It is Kristen and Bethany and Paul and Morgan. And Ooh. this is so fun being live and in person. We did one of these together. I don't even know how many years ago. Do you remember the one we did with Dave? Wait, Zach and Dave. Was that all of us or no? I don't think so. I think it was something totally <laughs> different. We have, have, no, we have done. We have done. We did the a Zoom. We did a Zoom oh, call. Okay. We did a Zoom. I'm, I'm thinking both. of something else. Yeah. I thought we had the husbands, so you're but no. You're not going crazy. <laughs> I'm not going crazy. But... Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is so fun to finally, I guess, be in person. Yeah, this is our first one. All person. four of us. Yeah together. Yes. Okay. But you guys, you have a very interesting story because you are a couple, like she said, in ministry and you have one child and now another child on the way. And so you do this full time, but take us back because a lot yeah. of people know your channel. They've seen a lot of what you do, but where did it all start? And were you guys in agreement? Was this before marriage when you decided to start Paul and Morgan? When did it happen? Give us a little bit of the backstory. It's yeah. so weird. I never think that we have an interesting story, but I guess it is kind of interesting. <laughs> Hey, other people's stories are interesting, yeah, right? It's are. like your own isn't, but someone else's is. That's true. That's well, true. Origin stories are interesting, yeah. Yes, yes. Would you like to? No, oh, please, okay. babe. Go ahead. Okay, Aww. This is how Chivalry. it works. <laughs> um, well, we have been married for a little over seven years, and like three months into our marriage, we filmed a vlog, and we're like, let's upload it to YouTube for us, whatever. Yeah. And then... Um, Paul started doing research and was like, I think that we could actually do YouTube, like, for real, for real. And I was like, okay, sounds great. And then he, like, went crazy into research, and we started posting vid videos regularly, and then we kind of, like, found our niche. Hey, shout out. Thanks to Girl Defined. I, I literally. <laughs> what? Right when, like, in the first month, the wheels were turning, and I was like, I think, Morgan, this could be something that we do for like, you know, vocation wise. And so I started typing in Christian YouTubers, <laughs> girl to find that literally. Is how funny. And listen, <laughs> call, call, like, call me guilty, but I did purposefully <laughs> start responding in your all's comment section to just try to get on Acting your- Acting like me. <laughs> no. Okay, wait a minute. There is no proof. There is oh, no proof. Oh, but you tell us right now. You give us the truth. <laughs> I'm, did I? Probably. Probably. <laughs> You're like, that's something he would do. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so you were trying to get traction, like, or I, well, I was just trying to connect with other oh. people who are doing okay. it well, and okay. they were doing it well. Oh. And uh, so you guys, were, you guys were trailblazers for us, seriously. Yeah. So then we just kind of kept going, and we connected with you guys. And thanks to Paul's reaching out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, how did we connect with y'all? I don't even remember. I don't even remember either. One of my messages you probably thought was Morgan, and, and you probably were like, hey, like, let's touch rocks. base. She's awesome. <laughs> and Paul's like, yes, it worked. <laughs> I probably did start my messages like, hey, girls. <laughs> hey, girl defined. <laughs> okay, so you guys were like, let's, this could be a thing. Let's just try it. But you weren't, were you thinking like, this will be full time? This will yeah. be for years? Or was it like, let's just give it a little try and see if we like it? My mind went to, let's go. Wow. Let's go in hard on this and i think that this could be it like i genuinely think this could be it that was probably a little too ambitious <laughs> and to be honest you know you uh your great intro bethany you mm -hmm. referred to like you know would you guys encourage couples doing this like full-time together working mm -hmm. together it comes with challenges mm -hmm. it comes with challenges morgan yeah. dude she's been a trooper <laughs> yeah. and also, oh, we're gonna get there we're gonna get okay, there so don't, I, don't get there I'm yet jumping. i'm sorry yeah. continue morgan please Oh, I don't know. That's all I got. We've been doing it for seven years now. We found our niche, our flow, and we've continued to kind of like, I don't know, evolve. Am I allowed to use that word? As How a dare question? you? <laughs> no, it's mature. Mature. We've matured. We've like, you know, redirected um, where, what type of content we make, but we've always really wanted to keep it centered on our viewers 
like encouraging our viewers to have hope and be free in mm-hmm. Christ. And so we always have talked from a Christian perspective, whether it was on relationships or yeah. culture and social issues, whatever it might be. Um, we've always come from a Christian perspective and have been like, how can we use this platform to glorify mm-hmm. the Lord mm-hmm. and have a fun time? So when did it become like, well, is it still the Paul and Morgan show or has it changed? I mean, I know we have 24 hours with, which we're going to get into, but when did it become like your brand and... Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty quick. Yeah, I'd say pretty quickly we jumped into relationship stuff, and it was just Paul and Morgan mm-hmm. dating stuff. <laughs> I remember those; they <laughs> were good. Yeah, yeah, the jingle, yeah, the life, love, and dating. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Th- thank you guys. <laughs> yes, you remembered our early videos. We remember. <laughs> yeah. We are here for each other. <laughs> Got to support. Miss support the song, though. Like I still. Miss okay, okay. Can you please? No. no. Yes. 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 <laughs> Can you please give us a live rendition? Right now? Oh, Just, every time I watch one of our old videos, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Come on, come on. Morgan, you do it. The Paul and Morgan, the Paul and Morgan show. Okay, I like it. I really like it. It's authentic. It's y'all. It's cute. Okay, so Paul, were you working outside of this? Because obviously you can't go just jump into this and make a full-time living for a family right away. That's something just on it within that lane. If you're thinking about doing this, YouTube in particular, be doing something on the side Mm -hmm. until you garner enough traction to where it's like, wow. I literally have enough income coming in to where I can make the switch. Because if you do it prematurely, it could get you in a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, it was a very slow progression. We started out, I mean, it took us a whole year to gain 100 subscribers. And I was like miserable. I was like, are you kidding me? This is taking so long. Like, I quit. Every day I quit. (laughs) But here I am yet again. (laughs) I'll quit tomorrow. Seven years later. (laughs) Yeah, but that's part of the beauty of it is the slow growth. It's going to make you appreciate Hmm. the small beginnings so that you'll appreciate and be prepared for the larger, hopefully, you know, the the larger platform, the Hmm. more success. Uh, But yeah, I was uh, teaching elementary school. And then when I was able to finally be like, I think we're ready to do this. It was just such a fun moment to go all in. And that Mm -hmm. was probably two and a half or three years into posting weekly. Wow. Okay, do you do something else on the side though? Like every now and then I see like card trading or like Pokemon or like Pokemon. (laughs) <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> there are some Christians that really uh, have a hard time with Pokemon, believe it or not. But um, I mean, I'll, I'll yell. Yeah, there's, there's some side. He collects Pokemon cards for fun. That's oh, okay. I didn't know job. if it was like a side hobby, like entrepreneurial, like thing, an income a thing or a hobby yeah, thing. There's just for fun. Some, okay. some <laughs> <Sorry>. entrepreneurial. <laughs> She's like, why are we talking about? We're this? not thriving in Pokemon card <laughs> dealings. <laughs> I love it, but <laughs> but uh, there will be some some people who are not fans. That can be between us and Dave. Dave will appreciate that. Oh but, my no, but no, it, that is the primary, and I do some other like social media work, helping out. Uh, okay. Other people, but okay. Yeah. So when did it? You said like two to three years in. Like how did that work? Where you were like, okay, I'm going to quit my job, and we are, like mm-hmm. have to make this work. Like that is the part that is so scary to me. Yeah, and I know. I mean, because in our day and age, there are so many people who want to go full time now on social media. Like seven years ago, it was a different story, you know. But now it's like, oh, yeah. there there are more people doing it, and they see you now, and they're like, okay, how how do you make that happen? So how did you decide? Like we can literally stop this job and make YouTube our full time thing. We had shown that we can be consistent with it because so many people are super excited and then they fall off and they can't, they just can't keep it going. You Mm -hmm. guys are a great example of consistency. Mm -hmm. We had been posting every single week without fail for two and a half years. And then we had garnered up YouTube, you know, pays for ads, AdSense, we'll get into technical stuff. But also we had supporters on Patreon. They were helping us monthly because they believed in our content. And yeah, the views and stuff got to a place where it was like, yeah, we are bringing in enough. We got to a point where it was, um, I was also working full time as a oh, nanny. Okay. Mm. And so I, we were like, yeah. I think I could quit my job. You still work, but I can quit and I can do YouTube stuff on the background, you know, cause YouTube really is a full time job and yeah. we were both working two full time jobs plus YouTube. So it was a lot. And so we were like, well, I think we'll be all right. We're making enough to supplement my income as a nanny. Mm. And so I quit that. And then probably a year later, nine months later, we were like, I think we're making enough wow. now for you to quit yeah. his teaching job and so a lot of it though was faith it's like no. wow. lord provide <laughs> yes was that like in y'all's marriage were you unified on that decision of stopping any outside work except youtube i think you surprisingly um were like really excited and eager for me 
Yeah, I, I wanted Paul to be able to do YouTube full-time. She's so supportive. <laughs> I, I knew that if he could get to just focus on YouTube, that, like, he would grow our channel even more and that we would benefit from it. Mm. It might take time, but I just knew, like, if he could really focus on just that, it would be a big deal. And so some of it was faith and like lord help us you know make mm-hmm. this leap of faith and also like you are providing right now so we're just gonna go for it mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. that's awesome mm-hmm. so your content has helped a ton of people and a ton of people love it but as we know from personal experience oh, no. there are those who don't quite appreciate it no for what it is <laughs> <laughs> and they they're very vocal about the fact that they don't appreciate it and they express yes. that and the two of us yeah. over the years have had to work through the negativity the pushback the hate, the groups that are started, you know, where people come and attack us and try to shut us down and cancel all the things. Mm -hmm. And we have each responded differently and just our own hearts of like responding to that negativity and that hate. So for you guys, you've also received some hate and some pushback. How have you guys responded to that? Has it been similar or different Mm -hmm. between each other? Well, I just wanted on the record, you're looking at two of the most (laughs) hated Christian channels (laughs) in the same room. (laughs) together it really is kind of true so please give us a thumbs up on this video (laughs) and come to our patreon patreon (laughs) show some love show some love yes please (laughs) morgan how how we handled it you know from the beginning when we first started receiving hate and people started making videos about us our channel like really grew because of that which was great um but also terrifying because the comments that we were getting the messages it was I hadn't, we hadn't experienced anything like that. And Paul from the beginning, like handled it so well. He was just so calm. It was just like, who cares what these people are Mm. saying? Like, don't pay any mind. It was very encouraging to me. I struggled severely. Mm. I had, uh, my mental health when we first started our YouTube channel was not super solid. Yeah. And so just um, dealing with that and then getting like a ton of hate. And it wasn't just like, oh, they disagree. No, it was like hate. Yes. It's like, yeah. I hate you. Like, we yes. want you to die. <laughs> yeah. Almost. Literally. That level of like, I hope you get run over by a bus tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> like, Isn't it crazy? Yes. <laughs> like, what is what is with that, dude? Oh, like, you don't even really like, know me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And and, okay, so what? It's like also like they started getting super mad at us even in the beginning. Like we were giving dating advice. Like who cares what we think about dating? And y'all were so. It's like why were they so mad at y'all? We did. We did (laughs) talk on the uh, the Christian modesty. Oh yeah. yeah. Hit one of the. The first video that blew up from our channel was actually a video of him and his friend, two guys, talking about modesty and women Mm. and bikinis and blah, blah, blah. And that blew up. And then from then on, it was just, like, wild. So, you know, like, we have always been just, like, very outspoken. And I do think we've grown a lot in how we share our opinion on things. Mm -hmm. Um, But we're not afraid to say what we think and people don't always like that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's definitely a double edged sword. Yeah. And also we've been, we've grown in how we are like, we try to make it very clear. This is our opinion. Yeah. You don't have to agree with it. And particularly on on the areas, areas that are more gray. Like Mm -hmm. we, we believe there is wisdom. There is biblical wisdom in practicing these things, but it can look different yeah. there's there's different factors and so we don't want to make it so incredibly stream- mm. streamlined and, and we've perhaps mm. struggled with that in some past videos yeah but as far as the hate went like i struggled really bad at first and i'd say it probably took me a year or two to really come to a place of just confidence in the lord confidence in what i was saying and being okay with people not liking mm-hmm, that because mm-hmm. that's something i've struggled with my whole life is yeah. just um, needing everyone's approval, needing mm. everyone to like me. And if they don't, I like have a meltdown and I'm like, how can I make them like me? <laughs> and realizing like, I don't need everyone to like yeah. me. Especially if you feel like you are being misunderstood. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's just like, that's yeah, just totally. a part of the game. There are going to be mm-hmm. people that watch, sure. you guys know this, make mm-hmm. videos about you and you look through their comments and it's like, no, that is yeah. not the angle I was going, but right. man... <laughs> You're going hard at this. Yeah. That, that's not that's not me. That yes. hurts. Yeah. But I mean, Jesus was, you know, perfect example of being misunderstood, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um, so we can take it as a badge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like a few years ago, there was like we've talked about how kind of 
I don't know, whenever there's a group, like for us, it's different because we're just sisters. We're not married. I feel like having the married aspect, yeah. and you're, I mean, that's hard. Like we've had struggles just dealing with all of that yeah. as sisters. But I remember for y'all a few years ago, Paul became the villain and Morgan, you're you saying like were, online, online, like what people were labeling. Them. Yeah. How yeah. people were okay. labeling them. You, you know, it's like with Kristen and I, oftentimes I've been the villain and Kristen is kind of like the really kind, nice one. It's like, so you know, funny. that's how they portray us. Like, Bethany, you know, yeah, yeah. in my I'm marriage, just less vocal on all the social media platforms. <laughs> so. Like in right, my marriage, right. I'm the villain, Dave's the victim, you know? And so for y'all, it was, you know, they labeled Paul as the villain, Morgan as the victim. And there was all yes. this like, like save Morgan. Like how, yeah. okay. How did y'all handle that? as a couple and did it cause stress for y'all as a couple like how did take us behind the scenes with that because that was a crazy time you know what's also interesting about that is is once that kind of narrative is established years can go by and it's still Mm -hmm. kind of there There yes 100 it's just lingering it never goes away it's just lingering waiting for like something else that they can pounce on and and i know this because you know we've been preparing for our 24 hours with with you guys yes you're right bethany is kind of the villain (laughs) And not she made, in real life. She yeah, I know. Okay. No, but you, but you know, Let's clarify. Yeah, you're like, no, Paul's the villain. No, Bethany's the villain. Thank He's you, like Bethany. throwing it right back at her. But, but Bethany could yeah. go, you know, yeah. eight months of doing nothing and then something yes. happens and the they can interpret it however they want and yeah. she's back to the yes. number one villain. Same with me. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, how, how do well, – I, I remember that moment distinctly Ooh. when I truly became the villain. Was, We're just it, for the villains club. A villain club. The Christian villains club. It's just so funny. Hashtag. <laughs> yeah, but no. It, all it takes is a big YouTuber deciding right. you're the villain yeah. and here's why. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm reading between the lines of their marriage and I have insi- insight. Mm-hmm. I know. Uh, my audience come along with me and then the narrative is started. That's a danger of social media. It's it's. Yeah, that, it's tough. that was... I'd say probably like the hardest time in our YouTube career Mm. was when that big video came out of just talking like about Paul and how he treated me. And And we're not going to say any names, Jacqueline Glenn. Bad. We love Jacqueline though. Yeah, y'all became friends. <laughs> we did, and she took that video down. Praise the Lord. Oh, I didn't know that. She did. Yeah, seven hundred fifty thousand so... views later. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but in all reality, several death threats later. <laughs> she did take it down, and we greatly appreciate it. And I do consider Jacqueline and David friends. Yes. Um. But, <laughs> but. That was one of the hardest times, if not the hardest time of our YouTube career. It's weird because it brought Paul and I closer together. So Mm. praise God for that. Um, But I think for me, like, I had really come a long way in, like, being okay with receiving hate and stuff. And that video dropped, and I remember watching it, and I lost my marbles. I was like, oh, no, no, no. You are not going to talk about my husband like this. Like, I was so defensive, like, and, like, a lot of the times we just we don't make videos, yeah. we don't respond to the hate, we yeah. don't push back, we don't try to say no, that's not how it is, it's this way. But like with this, I was like, uh uh-uh, I am making a response yeah. video. Well I can you just for back. people who don't know, give a quick yeah. overview of what the video was accusing you of. Yeah. So um the video mainly was saying that Paul had taken me away from my music career because I was signed with a label when we started dating um, that he had like convinced me or like forced me to leave I don't even know um, and that I was like a shell of a person now that I was married to him um, he was probably abusing me in one way or another um, I mean, or maybe she said confidently he, she believed that I can't totally remember. Emotionally was more her angle. Like, yeah. It's, it's an emotional form. But of- you know she says emotionally abusing me and everyone runs with yes. of course and he's physically yeah. and mentally and so like i received thousands of messages from people being like i oh, will pay for you to fly out of your state to get away from all wow. i'll house you i'll protect you and like got messages being like if you want me to end him i will wow and I'm just like what is wrong with you and so yes i made i personally i like wrote out everything that i wanted to say and i filmed myself reading what i wrote because i knew if i went off script i would (laughs) lose it um and then she made a response video to that saying like i was reading what paul wrote and like oh we're friends now there's nothing (laughs) i can't win i can't win we're we're friends now that's a redemption story right there (laughs) Yeah. yeah 
Wait, okay, but how how would you uh, become friends after something like that? The hardest time in your life, like how how did that happen? An act of selflessness. <laughs> Did you guys reach out? It really was. Yeah, Paul's the one who reached out. So she announced wow. that she was pregnant, and Paul just, like, made a comment. And I probably like, did it again when I did with you guys. <laughs> is this Morgan? <laughs> it's me. I never so explicitly happy. said this is Morgan. Just I probably girl. did. I started with hey, girl. I'm so happy for you, girl. <laughs> Would love to get together. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's pretty much what he said. I was like, we're so happy for you, girl. <laughs> Dude, I didn't realize, like, we're exposed. We're seeing a trend here, Paul. <laughs> we're going to be on the lookout yes, for you now. If you, get, if you get that message. Yes. Hey, girl, you know, from Morgan. <laughs> you know what's up. Oh I never God. said from Morgan. Just, you get that okay. type of. You get wow. a hey, girl. I mean, that is, it's fair because that is how I write, but... <laughs> Okay, so y'all got together with them. We did. And uh, we had dinner with them, and then we... And it went actually, great. It went it, great. Yeah, it was mm. really They're cool. actually, they're very fun people, her and her husband. Mm. Yes, and then we actually spent like a weekend with them at their house. Wow. One weekend, a couple of months later, and yeah. So. Wow, it's crazy like what actually spending time with people in yeah. real life does, you know? Real Like that's happened so many times to us where... You know, we will meet people in public, and it's crazy because the majority of people we meet in public know us from, um, you know, Reddit or channels that don't love us. And yeah. it's always amazing how excited and kind they are to meet us. So if you're one of those people, I, I, we have personally mm-hmm. never had an interaction in public that's been negative. Right. Mm-hmm. Everyone is always or angry or yeah, they're always like positive or excited. How's that wow. been with y'all? Like that's getting cool. recognized? Have you had any negative public experiences? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta know this. Oh, <laughs> okay, me. just one. Every <laughs> other one has been great, but this one—it wasn't like oh, she was so mean or aggressive. It was just like she just like threw this in my face. She was like, she came up to me and was like, "Are you Morgan from Paula Morgan?" I was like, "Yeah," and she was like, "Oh my goodness, I love your stuff. I watch it all the time. You guys are amazing. I love your relationship content." I was like, "Wow." thank you so much that's really sweet and she's like yeah me and my girlfriend we just like have learned so much about how to like take care of our relationship Mm -hmm. and I was like okay yeah (laughs) so kind of taking you taking me for a Uh (laughs) loop-de-loop that's crazy yeah I always am surprised running a little reaction maybe yeah great (laughs) glad you guys have learned (laughs) Wow. Oh, so that was like our only awkward encounter. But no, every everyone else has been very kind. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I mean, it is crazy because when I do think about it, it's like the Paula Morgan show, the Girl Defined show, somehow we've just like, like kind of accumulated the same group of people that dislike us. And it's just weird <laughs> yes. how our, like the names almost even go together sometimes. Like I you know. think of Girl Defined, you think of Paula Morgan and people even talk about them like, you know, and it's crazy though, because we live so far apart. We don't actually mm-hmm. see each other in yeah. person, but like... We're good friends yeah. when we do see each other. Yes. That is, yeah, my mom was over last night and she Googled. She, I was like, Mom, help us you know, prepare for this 24 hours with Girl to Find. Like, get us some good stuff. And oh, that's was, so cool. Yeah. And she was like eager to do it. And she's like Googling. And she's like, you got like, it led me to you guys. <gasps> that's so funny. <laughs> so literally. Wow. literally. Yes. Okay. One thing yeah. I really appreciate about y'all though is that despite all the hate and the pushback, you have not backed down yeah. from being bold and courageous and really speaking biblical truth. And I would say a day and age that it's even harder in a lot of ways than it was even five, 10 years ago mm-hmm. of like being bold for what God's word actually says about a lot of stuff. So I appreciate about that, that about y'all. But I know as we've walked through yeah. seasons of hate where sometimes it feels more intense than others, I have felt that tendency of like, oh, I kind of want to pull back. Like, I kind of don't want to talk about things that are controversial. I just want to make peace. You know, I want people to like me. I've struggled with it more than she has. Uh. Um, So for you guys, have you ever felt that like, oh, let's just tone it down a little or let's just not be as controversial? Or are you guys like, we're leaning in? I mean, what was your (laughs) response? (laughs) I'm more like Bethany. (laughs) Leaning in. (laughs) (laughs) Morgan, maybe is... Have you just decided it's, it's part of it? I mean, I'm a sass queen, mm. so sass queen. there is that. But I think, kind of like I said earlier, we've grown in mm. how we go about yeah. talking about topics, yes. which I know you guys have too. Yeah. And like, we've learned how to just 
like Paul said, just with gray area things, yeah. like to say, here's what we think, here's how we interpret scripture, you guys take it to the Lord, get in the word, figure it out for yourselves, and mm. we'll step back. <laughs> mm-hmm. I also am still an advocate, though. I think some people get like really scared with like, oh, it's gray area, so I'm not going to like give my opinion. Yeah. I'm an advocate for you guys, I, I'm just wanna, for on the record, I bless you guys <laughs> to to continue to be like, you know, ladies, like there's wisdom in this. This is our views and, and we, you don't have to do it obviously. And, and like you just said, work it out with the Lord, but we encourage this, um, hmm. you know, whether mm-hmm. it be different aspects of purity or, you know, modesty, yeah. relationships, womanhood, wife, wifery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, you know, I, I don't think, I think we could take that to like an extreme of mm-hmm. we're just scared to give any practical mm-hmm. advice. Yeah. I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah. Okay. So moving in to this positive direction that y'all have, like you're continuing to go forward, but you have like established a new, not brand, but a new branch of what Paul and Morgan yeah. do called 24 Hours With, which is really exciting and the reason Ooh. that you're here. So we just get this bonus of getting to have y'all on our podcast, but you were actually staying the weekend with Dave and I and our kids, which is so So amazing. So tell us about that. How did 24 Hours With come about and what is the vision for that? Oh yeah. We are honestly, (laughs) we're so excited for this because it combines some really powerful elements. It combines unity in the body of Christ, which is at the heart of it, but that's not at the expense of going deep and getting into maybe the tough conversations yeah. that a lot of people would be like, eh, let's not, that's going to cause discord or, you know, disunity. No, it's like we as Christians, brothers and sisters are able to talk through these things in love and still be able to hug each other and say, hmm. even if I disagree with you on these maybe secondary issues, we can show how to healthily talk yeah. about them and mm-hmm. still um, consider each other brothers and sisters. Cause the reality is, at least from what we've seen, and you guys tell us if you've seen it, there's a ton of division online yeah. between no. different kind of like denominational yes, camps to the sure. point where they're like, that's a false teacher. Yeah. That I I hate them. They're mm-hmm. leading people astray. And it's like, we need to chill. Mm-hmm. We can talk through these things without saying this person's a false teacher. Yeah. yeah. And, and you don't have to see eye to eye with yeah. them on the secondary issues. But if you see that they have that foundational faith and belief in God and there's fruit in their lives, like, don't write them off. Yeah. Mm. Be far slower to speak about, yeah, calling them false teachers or whatever, wolves in sheep's clothing, you know, all this stuff. And so that's just really our heart behind it is we want to see uni- unity in the body of Christ. This this is just something that the Lord is growing us personally in on our own walks with God and just the community, the body of Christ. And I feel like he really has led us into this project just in beautiful timing and like even just we're two episodes in kind of like really just one and a half episodes we've barely started our episode with you guys but already like we just are like man lord like you are growing us and challenging us and Hmm. it's so fruitful and so we want that for more people in the body and especially we started out in our marriage like in a very hyper charismatic church Mm -hmm. and we've come out of that and like have been seeking balance on both sides and so we've just learned a lot from that and we want to see yeah that for other people too finding the balance amen and and one other layer uh, i would say is is to humanize the person behind the screen Mm -hmm. so with Kristen and bethany you may have watched a hundred of their videos but we're getting to you know really dive into their lives talk to um, you know, talk, talk to them off camera yeah. and see who yeah. they really are because a lot of people can watch a video and maybe be seeing them in a, a way that's not entirely true or like really it's just not their full self mm-hmm. yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so we're gonna get to watch them and observe them in our house yeah. okay so you go you basically 24 hours with the whole idea is you're spending 24 hours with someone mm-hmm. getting to know them so y'all drop in the comments who you want paul and morgan to Ooh, go spend 24 hours yeah. with and Bring it. Uh, yeah, if you got any connections, you know, make that make that happen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it looks like you literally flying out to different people, spending time with them, and then what's the end result? An episode that's anywhere from thirty minutes to an hour okay. long. <laughs> of, that's a lot yeah. of work. Yeah. Yes, it is a process for sure. Huge project, mm-hmm. like. 
I don't even know if we fully understood the ginormousness of this project. (laughs) It's an ambitious project. And so we're just taking it one step at a time. Honestly, I was, I was scared. I was like, is, is this too big? Um, Mm -hmm. But we're here with you guys. Mm -hmm. We already filmed an episode with one of the biggest deliverance ministers, Isaiah Saldivar, and Mm -hmm. that's being super well received. So Mm. I'm just like, I'm ready to go. Let's go, so Lord. Cool. Okay, but y'all, y'all have it. a little one, Luca, and then you have another one on the way, Judah. Yes. yes. Nice. So how is that? Like, how are how are y'all doing that? As like obviously a right. young married couple, but also, I mean, I have two kids, and I'm like, yeah, like a you know yeah. fried cockroach half the time. <laughs> Just getting <laughs> like, away to do half a day of recording is much hard. less traveling. Yeah, so how is that working out for y'all? Well, shout out to our families because they're amazing. We cannot do this type of stuff without them. The fact that we yeah. can trust our parents <laughs> to take care of our child is great yes amen (laughs) um but you know we do it one weekend a month traveling Mm. and then the rest we're at home editing i'm with luca mommy duty yeah yeah um so at least right now it feels pretty manageable yeah Yeah. for now we'll see what happens when baby number two is like here (laughs) yeah yeah revamp well that's the beauty of this these kind of things is you can always revamp okay tell us a little bit as we kind of wrap it up here i want to hear about your marriage specifically because just any marriage has its challenges but working full-time in ministry where you guys are making all of the decisions and leading it and deciding what's next and and having to bring in an income for your family mm-hmm. because of the ministry, right? Like as a result yeah. of the ministry. So what kind of challenges have y'all faced in your marriage and your personality differences, <laughs> how you do things differences? Yeah. Like what kind of challenges have y'all faced and how have you worked through that? Man. God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when we first started out, oh my goodness, well, we just learned about one another so much more quickly than I think other married couples because they weren't working together on top of being married to each other. And so it was like, we're not only like just married, we're also like learning how we run a business together, how we run ministry together, how we work, thrive, don't thrive, whatever. Yeah. Um, Yeah. And so we're both, we're very different. I'm way more chill and just like, it'll work out. And Paul's like, prepare, research, post. Consistency is king. Quality is queen. (laughs) We know those things. (laughs) Yes. He said that for so many years when we first started out. Um, That's so great. I mean, seriously, if, if it had just been my YouTube channel it would have lasted like three months and I would have been gone. So it really is like we are where we are because of Paul. So good job, babe. Oh. And yeah, a lot of compromise. Thank you. It is, <laughs> it's important to be able to see what the other person brings to the table. Yeah. Because, yeah. Like, <laughs> right. Well, I mean, like we have different skill sets. Value their perspective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then just be, be patient with one another and, and pray a lot because even – you know, we are you see last night getting ready to come here and just re kind of looking over. And Morgan's just a much quicker <laughs> learner than I am. I'm very slow at processing. So <laughs> she's got to have patience with me. And I have to be able to, it's, it is, it's challenging on a marriage. And mm-hmm. perhaps sometimes it could be too challenging. Mm-hmm. And where it's like, this is just not, not worth it for your yeah, marriage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Sometimes you might need to, yeah, read between the lines. But oftentimes I think with the help of, you know, the Holy Spirit living inside of each of us, um, man, we can, we can come together in prayer and work through it and be better for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of challenges and ups and downs and just like with income and whatnot, like it's very unsteady sometimes being yeah. self-employed and yeah. running your own stuff. And so, you know, that has been weighty on us throughout our ministry, throughout our working. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we have to trust one another and trust the Lord and trust that, you know, if money's not coming in, we'll do whatever we have to do to make it. Yeah. And, and Paul will provide and I'll do what I have to do, you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so trusting one another and trusting the Lord and compromising and realizing that we're a team and Mm -hmm. like paul said recognizing like the good qualities of one another that we might not have and Mm -hmm. like uplifting those Mm -hmm. and encouraging those because we know that we need them to survive and thrive (laughs) good word have y'all ever had a just give us the (laughs) nitty-gritty like a fight or a disagreement right before you're about to record something (laughs) and it's it's ministry right so it's like we're about to bring this word about god (laughs) like we've had those things it's like 
like as sisters, we kind of joke it's like our second marriage. Like we have, because our personalities are different, our strengths and weaknesses. And like the way we approach, even as y'all are talking, I'm like, okay, yeah, I see some of that in me and some of that in her. And like learning to appreciate it, but it also like there's friction. And we've had moments right before we're about to record where something happens and we're just like at each other. We're like, okay, let's just take a pause and like take a deep breath, maybe pray before we start. Before we answer, when, when that's happened with you guys, have you been able to film, like push through it each time? Or has there been a time when it's like, this is just too big? We're I think gonna... we have pushed through. I can't think of a time where we're like, we can't even record yeah. right now. Good. We even had a big issue Good. once right before we went on a trip to speak somewhere together. Ooh. I don't know if you remember that. Murder. And now it's like, oh, and we've got to go <laughs> tell these women about the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's well, mad at each other. It's so hard because you're like a simple yeah. human. And then, but you like, that's kind of been part of our, like my journey specifically is really like, I don't have to be perfect like that's Mm -hmm. like that's why jesus came because i'm not Mm -hmm. and so i would feel so much guilt if i wasn't like okay i need to be perfect bethany the ministry bethany and it's like no that's that's like you're here because you have this testimony of not being perfect and that's what Mm -hmm. jesus is for you and so that's been easier for me to get in front of the microphone or like speak even if Mm -hmm. we have struggles because i recognize like oh i need jesus you know and that's been very freeing for me so that's good that's good but it's in the moment it's hard to know yeah in the moment it's like (laughs) yes so what about for you guys come on very relatable we have a video actually that is still up to this day from like six seven years ago i don't even know where we literally got into a fight and we just left it in <laughs> oh no way it's Wait, pretty awkward left it's so awkward in. yeah it's we awkward. left our fight we left parts of it in we were like you know what let's just be real like let's show the people wow. this is real we got into a fight we you know we came to a solution and we left that in too but yeah we, we nice. it's really awkward what's, to watch what's though. that video what's that video called <laughs> i don't even know i don't want to know yeah give us the uh yeah what's the title and we'll link it here? below guys yeah. <laughs> link in bio uh, or link in i'm sure if you like type in paula morgan fight it'll yes. pop up i think it's uh what marriage is really like oh yeah, I think oh, yeah. That's what it? It is. and then like we go live now once oh, a week yeah. and there have been plenty of times where right before we like hit literally oh, like yeah. it's like we're late to the live stream and I'm like I just don't wanna <laughs> yes but somehow it's the Lord like we pull it together and we go live and it ends up being a pretty decent live oh my gosh sometimes those are the best like Lord only you yes <laughs> yes see very clearly it's only you yes. working here oh my goodness amen so true. it's really cool though to see y'all as like I mean a young couple I feel like mm-hmm. we can still say that like young <laughs> To see y'all just so committed because it's not easy. It's yeah. hard to do what y'all are doing. And so we just want to, like, as Girl Define, we totally support y'all and are super excited mm-hmm. about 24 Hours With and super excited that y'all are here with us. But just the future of this because I, like, I can't think of anything else like what y'all are doing. And especially as a couple mm-hmm. to have both perspectives and to be able to go and, you know, to see men and women and have both of you in it together mm-hmm. is really amazing. So we're yeah. really proud of y'all and really excited and just hope you all as the Girl Define community can come alongside Paul and Morgan and just support them with encouragement by following them um, financially. If you're able to, that would be amazing too, because it takes a lot to go travel and get to know people and get behind the scenes. So how can we connect with you? How can the community connect with you and how can they support you? specifically financially (laughs) oh thank you guys so much like it's been so fun i'm so glad that this worked out to come be with you guys yeah um but we're just paul and morgan on youtube that's where you'll find the new series 24 hours with is what the series is called um we've got i don't know when this will be up but we might have two episodes up at that point (laughs) we might just have one still so check it out um and then we've got patreon and Venmo. And yeah, that what are the tags for all those? Or what are the Patreon.com slash Paul and Morgan show and Venmo is just at the Paul and Morgan show. But yeah, we're yeah. super thankful for all the support. Yeah, honestly we, we are and, and we're so happy to be here with you guys. This has been something that we've been excited about. Um and I think this episode is gonna be good. <laughs> oh yeah. Get ready though, because we are about to grill you guys. <laughs> oh. No, in our home, catching everything. <laughs> <laughs> Good, All right, thank you so much, Sisterhood, for being with mm-hmm. us. We love having you here. Definitely go to Apple and Spotify, leave that five star review, and go to Instagram and tell Paul and Morgan on this episode, like, what yeah. do you, who do you want them to interview? Who do you want them to spend 24 hours with? We want to know your suggestions, and it might, who knows, it might actually happen. All right, see y'all next week. <laughs>